Blue Sky Bios Crestal Sinus Kit allows you to safely breach the sinus floor while keeping the sinus membrane intact. This kit can be used for guided and unguided sinus lifts. The drills in this kit will not cut soft tissue and have built-in depth stops. The bone condenser also has a depth stop allowing you to avoid placing direct pressure on the membrane throughout the procedure. This animation illustrates a case with 6 mm of native bone. Always start with the 3.6 by 2.5 mm long starter drill. It should be noted that this is the only drill in the kit that is end cutting and is only intended for profiling the ridge and creating an initial pilot hole. You should have at least 3 mm of initial vertical bone height when using this kit. Start the osteotomy with the 2.5 mm long profile drill running at 800 to 1200 RPMs. Continue to the next 3.6 mm wide by 3 mm long safe ended drill. It is recommended not to skip any drills in the sequence. As with all the drills in the kit you should drill in a clockwise direction. Proceed to the 4 mm long drill. Make sure the handpiece is not running and begin checking for patency of the sinus floor. You can check the patency by seeing if there is space between the end of the stop and the edge of the bone. If the stop is above the bone then there is still bone. Once you have verified that there is still bone, proceed with drilling. This should be repeated with all remaining drills prior to running them. Insert the 5mm long drill as deep as possible without running it. If there is still bone, proceed with drilling. Repeat the process with the 6mm long drill to depth without running it. If there is still bone, proceed with drilling. Now take the 7mm long drill to full depth without running it. If it goes to full depth, the sinus is now patent, and you should not run this drill. Now you can begin lifting the membrane. Since patency was achieved with the 6mm long drill, the corresponding 6mm long graft packer should be used to condense the graft. Use a gently wobbling motion to condense the graft until the depth stop on the condenser bottoms out on the crestal bone. Continue loading a condensing graft material into the osteotomy. After placing 3 to 5 loads of graft material, a periapical x-ray should be taken to evaluate how much lift has been achieved. There should be a well-maintained dome of graft material visible above the sinus floor. Once the desired amount of lift has been achieved you are now ready to finalize the osteotomy for the implant. Use the final drill for the implant you are placing. It is not necessary to drill to the full length of the implant. Rather just drill 1 mm deeper than the depth of the patency achieved. With the membrane lifted you can now place the implant.